so because people have commented on every verse in the Bible like to the to degree that's almost unimaginable. So you can look and see all the interpretations and all the translations and get some sense of what the gen genuine meaning might be. And the line, the meek shall inherit the earth, meek is not a good translation, or the word has moved in the 300 years or so, 300 years or so since it was translated. What it means is this, those who have swords and know how to use them, but keep them sheathed, will inherit the world. And that's mm. another thing I've been telling. Yeah, no kidding. That's, that's a lot a different. Big man. Difference. That's a big difference. It's so great. And so, like one of the things I tell young men, well, and young women as well, but the young men really need to hear this more. I think is that you should be a monster. You know, because everyone says, well, you should be harmless, virtuous. You shouldn't do anyone any harm. You should sheath your competitive instinct. You shouldn't try to win. You know, you you don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. You want to take a back seat and all of that. It's like no, wrong. You should be a monster, an absolute monster, and then you should learn how to control it. Do you know the expression, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war? Right, right, exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah. yeah. And that's exactly right. And so when I tell young men that, they think, well, lots of them are competitive. They're low in agreeableness, you know, because that's part of being competitive temperamentally. It's like, is there something wrong with being competitive? There's nothing wrong with it. There's something wrong with cheating. There's something wrong with being a tyrant. There's something wrong with winning unfairly. All of those things are bad, but you don't want people to win? What's the difference between trying to win and striving? You want to eradicate striving? Well, it's the uncomfortable.